What up, y'all? This is Relapse coming at you with some Sergio Martinez versus Martin Murray results. We just uh, watched the decision 115 to 112 for Sergio Martinez in the 12 round battle. 12 round controversial battle. I gave the fight to Martin Murray. I thought it was a dirty decision. They won. For one, they took the knockdown away from Murray, even though he earned it in the round. And then they said that they did instant replay judging and said that that knockdown in the ninth round was not scored. It was, it was scored as a slip, as the referee called it. Me and Roy Jones Jr. saw it as a knockdown. Clear straight to the head on his way down with two left uppercuts before that, and they don't give him the knockdown. Then in round 11, I would give that round to Sergio Martinez, but round 12, even though Murray got pushed back against the ropes, even when he was coming forward, the Sergio Martinez, that is, he was getting pot shot by straight right hands every time he tried to dive in. And he didn't do much combination or power punching at all besides jabs and straights. So, and Murray was more effective in his punches and his percentage landed. So how he lost the fight, it, it's a mystery to me. Well, I thought Martinez controlled the first half of the fight. And then, of course, uh, he, he got knocked down uh, prior to that slip, they called it. But I thought it was a knockdown, too. Um, didn't really see the feet on the replay. I thought he stepped on his foot, and that's why they called it a slip. But maybe it was because uh, there was a goddamn thunderstorm going on in Argentina. <laughs> and so he was in his hometown. Um, I don't know. I thought Martinez won because he won the last two rounds, and that's exactly what uh, the other judges thought too. But, well, I saw it as Murray won the twelfth, but Martinez won the eleventh, and at that point it was tied up, and whoever won the twelfth won the fight. And on their scorecards, they have it one fifteen to one twelve, so that means that they gave him a little more extra rounds than what it was actually scored. Yeah, some of those rounds could have been a toss-up, but because uh, Murray started really slow, uh, I think that's what cost him the fight. Yeah, he. I agree. He did start off very slow, and you, you heard me like, "Come on, man! You know, pick up the punch output. You got to throw more. You got to throw more." But even at that time, he obviously won the first four rounds. Round five was a toss-up round. I gave it to Murray. They gave it to Martinez. Round six, you know, round seven, round eight, round nine, and round ten all went to Murray. He should have had two knockdowns, but they only gave him one. And then round 11 went to Martinez, and so did round 12. But I thought, I mean, the, the 12th round is a toss-up to either fighter. So if you toss some points up on there, that's how the judges came away with their decision. But, you know, I, I'm really starting to get confused on how to judge these fights now. Because if you look at it, last week with Canelo and Austin Trout, the busier fighter, that didn't matter. It was who landed the more effective shots, who landed the more power shots, and who scored the knockdown. Then they give that's the reason why Canelo won the fight. Yeah. When it comes to Murray, Martin Murray, he he lands the more effective shots. His connect percentage is better. You know his defense was really solid. Martinez didn't hit him with anything clean, and they give him the fight. It it, it doesn't make any sense to me anymore. How are you supposed to judge these fights? From, from this point on, because Martin Murray, in my opinion, won the fight based on how they scored a Canelo fight last week and just based on his performance in the fight. Yeah, he was definitely uh, trying to be more accurate, and Martinez was just simply at working him with the, all the rounds that he won. And uh, might have been, some people might say it was a hometown decision, I don't know. Uh, I definitely think it was a home down decision. But at the end of the day, you know, that's the result, guys. You know, let us know in the comments section what you think, who won the fight. Even on the text messages, they said the fight was a toss up 50 50 on the text messages from people calling in. So let us know in the comments section who you thought won and why. This is your boy Fight Night's Finest here with Relapse signing off. Peace.